welcome to another vlog. So, I actually, I don't remember when I ended last week. Um, when did I end last week? Uh, it was Monday, right? So, the... Let me check check then i can uh catch you up on what i have been reading so we finished on the fourth so let me catch you up on what i have been reading so fourth um so yeah i ended with finishing two series which was great so um then I read Darn Knit All, which is the last one that is out in the All Access series. So I am catched up on that series. I don't know if anyone else will be coming out. Don't know that yet. Um, and then, and Darn Knit All, I give it three stars. So, fine, you know. Uh, then I finished off Waking Gods and gave these four stars. So, I didn't like this as much as Sleeping Giants, but it was still good. Really interesting. So yeah, that was kind of that. This is the second book in the Themis Files. Uh, and then I finished Lucas, which is the third one in the Amber and Ashes series. So yeah, three stars. It was fine. And I feel like I've been saying that for a lot. Just because... Yeah. Fine. And then I finished off Lola and the Boy Next Door. Gave it three stars. It was fine. Now, I remember giving Anna the Prenish Kiss five stars. I loved that book when I was younger. I don't think I would love it as much if I reread it. That's why I don't reread re that book. Because I don't think I will like it. Then I finished Loving Storm and I gave that four stars. I actually really enjoyed that. Um, but before that, I also, also finished Talon. I gave that four stars. So Talon and Loving Storm, four stars. Talon is the fourth one and Loving Storm is the fifth one. And that, yeah. And the reason why I gave Talon four stars was that it, it got out some emotions. Actually, it really got out some emotions, and I actually was like close to tears. And Loving Storm, I just like those sweet moments where you kind of didn't have any drama. You kind of didn't have any. It was just a slice of life uh, with them. So yeah. And then I finished Asher. Gave that three stars. I liked it. Uh, it was just yeah, it was fine. And that was the end of Amber Asher's and Ambers, Ambers and Asher's. Ash, ashes and embers there and then I finished runaway girl three stars then I have finished kind of the girl uh, series it was kind of two books and then like two three like half books but I yeah and then I finished off only humans gave these three stars I liked it I don't I didn't like it as much as the other ones, but it was really interesting to learn kind of the about the aliens. So yeah. And then today I have finished a uh, Thief of Dreams. Give that three stars. So at this point we are reading Beck My Master books. And the one that I am currently on is uh, Thief of Souls. And I am, I actually have 46 minutes left. So don't have much left of that. And then I am currently reading Isla and the Happily Ever After. So yeah, let's put uh, these on the shelf because I'm still going to keep them because they are, overall, I really did like them.
talk about how this day have been and what I have finished. So I have finished um the first two were in a series and it was a thief a thief of dreams and thief of souls. So now this is probably an ongoing series because it ended on a cliffhanger and next book not out. So not very fun, you know, but yeah, so both of them I go to the stores. They were I just feel like they are fine, you know. It's interesting. But it's not like something I just feel like once I get up to four stars I am like I might consider rereading this. Might consider buying the book. So that's kind of and then like a three stars is probably like it was good. I'm not gonna reread it, not gonna own it, you know, so yeah, overall it was fine. And then I finished Isla and the Happily Ever After, and this is the last book in the Anon French Kiss series, and I'm gonna give it three stars just because um so in a this one is a little bit more like differently constructed than the other two so the other two are more like yeah let's just say half spoilers like the first two are more like they are get together towards the end of the book in this one, they kind of get together in the beginning and then kind of have the breakup scene. And here's the thing. I am... Um, I just feel like this was a really good book, but the breakup scene kind of annoyed me. Um, and yes, I do understand that like young ones are more like afraid of kind of this whole like do you love me or not um but I just I, I didn't kind of get the reason behind that I didn't get reason kind of behind the breakup scene and uh, so yeah it's just three stars if it had been a totally like different breakout scene then it probably would have gotten four stars because overall it was good i just didn't get kind of the breakup scene because i just i, I feel like you sometimes you totally understand why the people like need a break or break up because it sort of just makes sense on why but to some, I don't feel like it kind of make, it, it makes sense, but it doesn't. I just, I just didn't fully feel like I cared. Like, yeah. I just, I didn't like kind of where that whole thing went. And yeah kind of unfortunate but also it was fine I just feel like I am never going to reread this series again but I am happy to kind of be done with this series it's great to just be done with it so yeah you know great and um Anything else? I don't think there's kind of anything else. So, yeah. Then I am currently in a Studio Ghibli movie. So let's let's show you this. I haven't shown it. If you saw my daily logs, you will all know that I show this all the time. This is how we are looking at this point. So we have watched four of these. Still have quite a lot to go, but I am. Hoping to be able to finish all Studio Ghibli movies 
this month. And there are still like a few ones that I have not written down there. Which, um, yeah, there will be a few ones that I will need to watch, even if they are not on there, but that doesn't matter. I mean, I will have, if I watch all of them, I will have 19 to watch in December, which should be fine. Some of them are really long though, so I will definitely need to remember that. So I think that's, that's kind of it. I, yeah, so today I watched um, My Neighbor Todoro. And um, yeah, so kind of the four that I have watched. Um, I kind of have started on kind of when they were updated. So the first one is Nausicaa of the Valley of the Wind. And yeah. And then we have Castle in the Sky, Grave of the Fireflies. That one is so sad and it's just heartbreaking to see. And then we have My Neighbor Totoro. And uh, yeah, I will just continue on with this board. And um, I think tomorrow is Kiki. If I'm not completely wrong, it might be something else, but I think it's Kiki. And then, yeah, just go over the board. I feel like one thing I really do like with some of these are they that they are not that long. One and a half hours, it's fine. Once you like reach close to two hours, it starts to get a lot. I'm a little weird, but yeah. And then, yeah, it's um, it's been great. And I have to say, with movies, I'm really weird. I just feel like I am loving once they are like slice of life. Let's call that my neighbor Totoro is really like kind of a slice of life where it doesn't it's not a lot that is happening and it's just really crazy how i am like i love that so yeah so i mean i have once watched quite a lot a lot of them i have never watched every single studio ghibli movie but that is what i am currently doing so yeah, well, now I am going to Okay, so let's just quickly wrap up today. Um, I've been just lousy to update today. Haven't done. I've been like halfly like sleeping the entire day. So yeah. So um, I finished two other books. So the first one is Lead. And I gave that three stars. So this is the third book in the Stage Die series. So the, uh, the third one, we have one left. And yeah, three stars. I, yeah, I just didn't feel fully connected with the like two main characters. Like I, I kind of didn't feel the connection between them. So yeah. And then I read Sane, gave that three stars. So, in, this is in the K9 series, and um, yeah, this is definitely the longest going series. And um, yeah, I will use wherever I am next uh, once you know I reach the final book support group next week. So I will use that. So yeah, anything else? I I started a, a new uh, Kindle book, like ebook. Uh, I started Shadowbound. I think that is the um, next like Beck Master book. I won't read. So yeah, I am like a hundred pages into that. So I'm doing really well with that as well. So, yeah, and then for my physical book, I have finished off the Gwenoware Deception. Uh, I give this the first time around four stars. I'm not going to change that rating. I usually never change the rating if it's not like 
extremely horribly different than I re remember. Yeah, I liked it. Definitely not a five star just because I, I f you know, I just feel like at least some people, I know when a book is a five star just because from kind of how I am feeling. I get this feeling like this is a five star. I love this book without a doubt. That's kind of the feeling that I get. And you know, I don't get that with this book. But yeah, so I'll continue on with the Camelot Betrayal. Yeah, the Camelot Betrayal. And um, yeah, so it just fits really well that I am, you know, getting to this now and um yeah i don't think there is anything else i am so tired and i'm going to bed i am yeah hoping to get like a good sleep and then i can wake up tomorrow and then read the last book in the stage dive, series, stage dive series, and then continue on with the next K9 book. I think it's Blaze. If I'm not completely wrong, I think it's Blaze. You will, I mean, you will see that tomorrow, whatever. So I am going to bed and just. I I need a good amount of sleep. The only problem is my parents. Um, basically are away to some friends for right now like today so they will be back later today and um, I have the dog with me and the dog is a nightmare in bed let's just say that it's he he's I, I am not I will I will not be able to sleep before they get back because he Total nightmare, and he needs to be in the bed, you know, just because if he's not, you still won't get any sleep. So it's just kind of a nightmare. But yeah, I am anyways going to bed and see if I am able to, you know, have a nap with the dog there. filming and everything and then I can forget that I am doing a vlog totally forget everything and just mm, don't film anything and then I re remember in the evening like oh I was filming a vlog so I definitely should update it so today I finished a stone cold touch which is the Jennifer L. Armandrell book that I was reading uh, it's in a series. Give it three stars. Don't ever remember the series, you know. Um, I don't think that is really great. Right? I, I don't remember what this series is called. Um, so, yeah. Three stars. It's fine. Let's just say that. It's, it's a f okay series. Not anything extremely special. And then I finished Deep, give that three stars. Deep is the fourth and the last book in the stage dive series. And in this one, we are following somebody's sister. And basically, she um, sleeps with, is his name Ben? Don't take my word for that, but I think it is. And basically, uh, she gets pregnant, um, but he—he's not like a 
you, you don't want a relationship. So, it was fine. I just feel like I, I didn't fully care for this. So, you know, fine. Not anything. I didn't fully like love it. Like, yeah, so. And then, you know, I continued on with Shadow Bond. And I am 200 pages, so I am around halfway through this. This is my Beck Moss book. I started a new series, and uh, she don't have that many left. And um, I don't really know how I feel about this yet. I am halfway through, and I haven't really started to care yet. So. Yeah, that's kind of where we are at this point. Like, I don't care yet, and that is kind of, you know, not what you want to happen. Like, you, you want to care, but I just don't yet. And um, that might become a problem or not. Don't really know yet, but it might, you know, become a problem. And yeah, so. Yeah, just overall, it's. It's just kind of this. Um, I. I just don't feel like I care that much yet. And then I have started the Camelot Betrayal. And I am 200 pages into this. And um, I like it. I don't know if I like it as much as the other one. I don't. I don't really know. I am still enjoying it. I'm curious to what is going to happen. So I will finish this one off tomorrow and then read the Excalibur Curse. And um, that will be interesting. And one thing that is really great about this whole thing is that then I will finish off, like in the final book support group, this is a second in a series, meaning continuing on, and then the Excelibur's Curse is in a series. And then I I don't know if I want to read things we left behind or if I am going to read the toll. Um I haven't really decided yet. I might do the toll, and that is also, you know in a series and then I have the toll and the gleanings. Uh, the toll is kind of the end of Scythe, Arc of Scythe as a series. But then you have gleanings which is kind of stories here and there and then we are completely done and it's really really great. So I think I think I might do the toll just to finish off that series while it's still fresh in my mind. I feel like things were left behind is it's not like you have to finish that off right now. Because, I mean, obviously, um, that is in a Roman series that, yes, it's connected to each other, but it's still, you know, kind of the, its own story. So it will be, just make things easier um, if I don't get to it right now. But I will finish it off before the end of the year, which... <laughs> We still have a little bit left. So I have also have to say, lately I have been kind of struggling to feel motivated to pick up anything. <laughs> to be completely honest, it's I feel like it's a struggle every day to pick up, and when I pick it up, it's not a problem to read. It's just a problem picking it up. 
So yeah, then is there anything else? I don't kind of think there is. I yeah. So today I have watched only yesterday, which is Studio Ghibli. So that is kind of what we are doing this month. Trying to finish off the Studio Ghibli ones that I have uh, tomorrow is um, Porco Rosso. And yeah, it's. I feel like I, I'm really enjoying the. I know a lot of people don't like the slice of life ones, but I am actually really enjoying them. Like, kind of where nothing happens. So you kind of have. I mean, Kiki yesterday, yesterday I think it was yesterday and you know there is kind of not a lot that is happening it's not a lot of drama you know and I really love those where it's not a lot of drama it's just overall just a good time that's what I love in these Studio Ghibli movies and yes there obviously are some more that are more expect. I still like them, but they are not. The ones that I'm kind of loving, you know. But yeah, that was it for this video. I will see you for another video. So I am going to start Final Books and Watch Group tomorrow. And uh, yeah, going to, it's going to be interesting to see how many I am able to finish off. And um, one thing that we kind of. Oh, can already do is actually to um, color in the sheer TBR on socials because I have known that I made a um, post on Instagram to share my TBR with everyone. So we are done with that and um, Oh, I totally forgot that. So I can, um, yeah. I need to close this and then uh, move on this one again because of Instagram. So, but I am going to go to bed. And uh, yeah, I will see you for another video soon.